Today in Bible Ladies French Bunch, we're going to talk about rest. <laughs> I know. I'll see you in a minute, my friends. <laughs> Boy, you just missed it. Like the whole, the whole thing came a tumbling down. The whole thing. I'm still fixing it. I'm still fixing it. I don't know if we're, we're even or not. If not, I apologize. <sighs> Happy Mother's Day. If you're watching this um, just um, sometime, I'm actually filming this and putting this up a few days before Mother's Day. So I just wanted to make sure that um, I got that out there. I also have something in my eye. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I've seen you. I went to my parents' house for three weeks. Yes, I did. And um, my son is still there. He is helping with farm chores, the spring farm chores. And we're talking about all sorts of things. I'm going to, I'm going to um, put a little picture in here that my mom sent me. He, yesterday he was tilling. Um, quite the man's job. <laughs> anyway, um... So, but anyway, when I was at my mom's, I had fully intended on filming and I was going to do another interview with her. I had done one around Thanksgiving and um, the sound didn't record. So that was, that was fun. Uh, but anyway, I was going to do one with her and with uh, whatnot. I mean, we just, we just did everything but that. And, uh, so I didn't get that interview. I'm gonna see her again in July. So hopefully I will, I will, I will do some more of that because she is just lovely to talk to. Um, so today I had actually had a whole other video uh, that I actually filmed, and I might put that up another time. Uh, I just didn't, I just didn't feel it. I didn't feel. I felt like we needed a little more practical advice in our life right now and I'm going to talk about rest and <laughs> I know what you're saying I know what you're saying oh girl oh girl whether or not um you are in whatever stage you're in if you are right in the thick of it with the littles or you're a busy mom whizzing you know work and school and da -da 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 -da, all of the things you understand this and i don't want necessarily talk about napping or you know sleeping in which are all good things i'm going to talk about rest and stillness i'm going to read to you a scripture um, the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand under as <sighs> the Lord is not slow in keeping his promise as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. I think a lot of times we are in such a hurry to see something done. We're in such a hurry to get the end product done. Uh, this Friday, uh, someone is coming to put a new vanity in our bathroom for the parsonage. And I've been laying in bed thinking about it. It's kind of a different style. It's kind of a little bit more modern than um, I am you know, it was really my style, but I just, I loved it. And I'm thinking about what we need to do with the bathroom over the sink. And you know, I want to go out and do, 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 do. you know, I want to get it done. I want to have it completed. I want to have done. And um, instead of just one step at a time, one step at a time, I'm very much a project oriented person. I like to think these, see things completed in a nice little package. I'm not one of those much who starts and doesn't finish and the, that, that that worries me that worries me but I know there are plenty of you are anyway let's get back to this subject so God is not in a hurry and he is also not impressed with our busyness we think in our society that we need to be industrious that there needs to be something happening and there needs to be something to do there needs to be you know those little feet cannot rest and 
Otherwise, it appears that we are just we are just not doing our job. And I don't believe that God see things, sees things like that. And um, we need to learn to stop rushing our lives and learn to be still. Now, this morning I woke up and I've done this the last two mornings. I've thought about all the things I needed to get done. And I thought about all the errands I need to be running and I want to run here and I need to go there and I need to go to the library and I need to go to the pharmacist and I need it. And sometimes I will get out of the house without really completing the things I know I need I, that's really good for me. You know, the, the devotion time, the quiet time with my coffee, the, you know, the care, the self-care that I need, the taking care of me with my meds and maybe a little bit of movement. And so I forget those things in the busyness to get what I check those things off in my head instead of really taking the time to be still and to listen. Um, so we have to remember that we have to make that time for rest, the time that we can be still, the time where we can listen to hear the voice of God, the time that we can really listen and be alone with our thoughts to really feel what we need to be feeling. We also have to make time to rest for our bodies. God created us in such that He meant us to be creatures of rest. And this does not mean you're lazy if you go to bed early or, or, or you take some time to be still in the mornings. That is not it at all. Um, one of the great things that have come about in the past few years, I felt, was the more emphasis on Sabbath rest, especially for ministers. Um, Sabbath rest is not necessarily, uh, it's, not, it's not easy for a pastor to rest on Sunday. In fact, you, you can't. You can't rest. And um, really, it's not easy for a pastor to rest most days because of all of the obligations, all of the things in his life. Um, no matter what your congregation, whether it be 10 or 10,000, uh, there are still those pulls on your time and on your resources. And for the pastor's wives, any of you, any of you out there like me who seem to, no matter if I have the time or not, I seem to fill it with projects to do. And I think it's good. I'm always up for a good project, but I also think that I have to make an effort, effort to find that time for rest and for stillness. Now your time as stillness and rest might look completely different than mine. Uh, I, do not, I am no longer the mother of a little. He is 19 and perfectly capable of handling his, his own morning routine and has been for quite some time. In fact, I encourage you to start training your children in some of the necessary things like getting their own breakfast, doing their own uh, uh, morning habits, brushing their teeth, um, their laundry. Um, I will tell you my son is very diligent. He'll get up in the morning. Um, he showers, he takes care of himself, he does a load of laundry almost every day. Now he's at his grandparents' house and my mom assures me that that routine has not changed. Um, and you know, you, you need to kind of, to go towards that direction with your children to also teach them rest as well. Um, the one thing I do regret is that not building enough time in it for his personal devotion in the morning. We would do that. We homeschooled and we would do that within his homeschool day. But I do regret not doing, making more of that a habit in his own life because that was, that's a tough one to establish. Now you can do your devotion in the morning or in the evening or in the middle of the day whenever you have the time to do it. I know uh, many of you work and work a busy job and you've got you've got things going on. Um, some people rise early. I could do that um, much better during certain seasons of my life. Um, sometimes when I am dealing with health flare-ups, it's harder for me to do that. But in, the, in any event, I have had to make myself rest. I've had to take that time, that stillness, that time to even if it's to sit on my front porch in the stillness of the morning and just um, sing a little worship songs to myself or not too loud because we've got neighbors 
and or or have that quiet that I'm just staring at the window or staring at something beautiful and, and meditating on God's Word. I enjoy taking one scripture a week and kind of meditating on that or one scripture a day, depending on what I felt God has led me to. But we need, we must take those times. And that is all of it all of it so this week I encourage you no matter if you've got a bedtime routine um, I enjoy a hot soak in the tub a long soak in the tub with a little Epsom salt, salts and lavender um, I enjoy um, just I enjoy beautiful things I love the soft music and and just a peaceful a peaceful home so whatever whatever sets your stage, whatever you can do, um, if it's to make a spot in your closet, like a war room necessarily, that you can escape to, uh, if it's even if it's, that's your car, that stillness, that time of rest. But I encourage you to slow your life down. It's easier said than done, but sometimes we create chaos. We create um, activity because we can't, we feel like if we're not, they'll be that, you know, we're doing something wrong. But I encourage you to really think about this week, to think about rest, to think about stillness. And I have this, uh, this another thought um, that you also need to be um, still concerning the needs of your husband and your children. Sometimes it's easy to think, oh, I know what they need. I know what they need, you know, um, and we do. We don't really know what they need. Sometimes our busy kids need to be less busy. Sometimes we need to pay more attention to our husbands, and uh, that's me. And sometimes we just need to be more attentive to the spirit of God, more attentive to what He is doing. And I leave you with this scripture. Um, if you will be calm and trust me, you will be strong. Isaiah 30, 15. How many of you need a little bit more calm and rest in your life? I, I encourage you to actively pursue stillness. Actively pursue rest. Make that a priority. You can't just wait. Wait for it to happen. You need to um, carve that out in your life. Um, so I hopefully this little this little talk encouraged you um, as we we head on into Mother's Day and all that comes with it as we head on into summer. Uh, this summer hopefully is going to look a little bit different than last summer, though not maybe as the summers before. Uh, but I encourage you right now start those restful times in your life. Pursue rest, pursue stillness, pursue peace. So, do beautiful things, hug your people, breathe in and out. We're doing just fine, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.